What's up guys? Today I'm going to be doing a curly hair routine. My voice is actually coming back. I was shocked that it came back, but I'm actually trying to get over a cold, which I haven't had a cold in like years. So it's really weird to have one because I literally don't know what to do with myself. This is also a collab with Taylor Lehman. She's doing a morning routine vlog style. I will link all her stuff down below. Her curly hair care routine has changed a lot ever since I did one. But I'm going to be using this low porosity protein free shampoo from Shea Moisture. So it has no parabens, phthalates, and a lot of other stuff. I haven't used a real Shea Moisture product in a very long time. Um, people said online that the low porosity stuff stinks, but it literally doesn't smell like anything. Like, no, it does smell like something, but it's really good. It smells like an old lady, kind of, but I'm okay with it. Um, this has babu oil, tea tree oil, spearmint extract, and it's supposed to clarify your hair and gently cleanse product buildup. I have some apple cider vinegar here. Sometimes I do, well, this is the second time we're doing it, but my mom gave me this idea to do apple cider vinegar hair rinses for my hair because it's supposed to add shine, it's supposed to help with hair loss and um, clarify it. It stinks. I know that people get really weirded out from apple cider vinegar and the smell. I don't really care about the smell because I've been using apple cider vinegar for years. So it doesn't really bother me. But every time someone smells it on camera or something, they be like hecka dramatic about it. And they're like, oh my god, this stinks. Yes, it stinks. It's vinegar. Like, what do you expect? Yes, it smells like feet, but it helps with so many things. It's a little bit of apple cider vinegar and mostly water because it's very high in acidity. Good to dilute it anyways whenever you're using it. This is spray bottles from the dollar store. I got this recently. And when I was using it at first, I thought it was broken because it wasn't spraying anything at all. I was like doing this for a good like five minutes. But all I had to do was just turn it. I slept with no hair tie yesterday because I was getting a headache from the hair tie I was wearing. Also, let me show you the other products I've been using because that's very important too. So I've been using this conditioner too. This is also from the Low Porosity line. Sorry if I sound like I'm out of breath because my nose is extremely stuffy. And yeah, I can barely breathe. It's supposed to soften and balance your hair. It smells so freaking good. So I've been using this as a leave-in conditioner for the past few days. The thing is, um, my ends are always drying out. So it's really hard to find something that will actually moisturize my ends. I think the reason why they keep drying out like that is because they're really dead. And I really need to trim like really bad because it's ruining the rest of my hair and throwing it off because... <laughs> It's dead and it's drying out and I every time I touch my hair it's already dried out so I have to always reapply like oil to it because it's always running out of moisture I've been using this glow oil that I got from J&H Botanicals which I have a video of me talking about them um, check out her shop check out her Instagram it's really good a lot of her stuff is inexpensive inexpensive <laughs> and um I'm, I'm serious about this but it's great and it's cruelty free all of her stuff is natural and i just love it because i've been using this ever since i got it and when i love something i cannot stop using it like dude this has grapeseed oil jojoba oil um apricot oil because i added it because i recently just got apricot oil which i've never tried before but you can use it on your skin when you have dry skin and you could use it on your hair for if you have like dry hair you can use apricot oil this is from the brand now solutions um it's non-gmo and it's a body moisturizer and it's supposed to help with dry hair so i've been using this a lot as you could tell i've used a lot it was actually filled up to the brim but I've used so much of this because I think this is like my new favorite thing. Um, before I was used, I haven't used this obviously, but before I was using that, well, 
I was using this shampoo from Live and Clean, Live Clean, something like that. And it's a hydrating shampoo. It's in a blue bottle. And it's like, the scent is like ocean or something. <laughs> I'm over here dying. If I talk for a very long period of time, I start to want to cough because now I'm crying like because I was coughing so much that I started crying. What the heck is wrong with me? It's in a blue bottle. It's very big. I got it for Christmas. They put it in my winter favorites and I need to stop talking because my throat is starting to hurt a lot. You can tell I'm out of the shower now and I'm looking like the black Lord Farquaad now. Um, this is the perfect time where I add my products in. I forgot that I still had this. I recently just got this from Marshalls. And this is a leave-in conditioner. I don't use this a lot. Okay, I forgot to talk about, um, this. So, I used this for the first time in the shower. And I was, I, w I could say that this is probably going to be my current favorite. Because it did not strip my hair. My hair still felt really moisturized and um i love it it smells good but i forgot to tell you guys that i've been using this candy gum drop from ogx conditioner um it's mediocre i'm just gonna say that it smells like the flintstones vitamins that i had i used to take as a kid and the smell of it low-key gives me ptsd because i hated those vitamins like, i hated them with the passion my dad was always giving me them and I would always hide them under the toilet because they were so disgusting. But yeah, that's what it smells like. I just finished that and I used that in my hair after I shampooed. Um, it's not good, but it's good for detangling your hair, but it's just not the greatest. The smell is gross and I don't really feel like it moisturizes my hair really. Oh, this is the time where I add a few pumps of conditioner in my hair. So I'm going to do that because I don't use that much. I use like literally that much because I want to, like I said, I want to make this last. So, um, I make sure, I take like maybe two or three pumps of this because I want it to coat all over my hair. I also have this, um, this is a Cam 2 Jehovah hair and scalp oil, but I don't use it a lot, but... I think you're supposed to melt this because it or it's supposed to be melted because it's thick as heck. Oh, I'm going to use my glow oil from J&H Botanicals in my hair. Whatever it is, drops of the glow oil in my hair because it's great. Um I put it on my end and I put it at the scalp because the ends need love too. I really hate having low frosty hair because it's just annoying like it's my hair is already high maintenance because it's curly but adding to the fact that it's low porosity just oh my god like and it's so hard to find products that actually work for my hair type like it's probably annoying that i keep bringing up the fact that i have a low porosity hair and i don't think a lot of people know what hair type they have um, recently someone asked me what my curl type was and I literally don't know what it is. Um, it's extremely damaged so that's why I don't even really know what it is. <laughs> um, I don't even, I stopped trying to find the, like what my curl pattern is because it's kind of annoying and kind of a waste of time. I'm so thankful that I got to like, try it out, um, when it was still like new at our shop kind of. Because I like trying new things. Anyways, I don't know what that was about. I've been editing this whole time, so my hair is like extremely crunchy right now. Well, it's like crispy and dry. So, I basically have to reapply everything again. I've just been listening to music and I've been like contemplating whether I should make a music playlist. The last time I did, the last time I did it was when I was in the process of moving and i did it in the summer it, the lighting just changed out of nowhere that was weird but anyways i i was requested to do it before but i was just way too shy to do it because some people dance to it some people lip sync to it some people just don't do anything and i'm probably gonna be like one of those people that don't do anything i sit up like this and i brush my hair up 
like every hair so it doesn't look ragged. Bring all the hair to the front of my head and I like fluff it out, make it look bigger than what it already is. Back always looks a little bit weird. Um, I like to cover the scrunchie because I don't want to look at that because sometimes when I turn to the side you can see the scrunchie. So I do my best to cover it. It doesn't always work out that well. This is the end of the video though because I don't really do anything else. So if you enjoyed, please give a like, comment your thoughts on this video, subscribe if you haven't, check out Taylor's video and her channel, subscribe to her too because she's great. Follow my Instagrams, came out of stories and faded polaroids. Check out my other videos because they're great, turn in post vacations, you know when I post. I'll see you in my next Peace.